Attorney General Jeff Sessions will be in New Mexico this afternoon to speak with border sheriffs about immigration enforcement. As Manuel Bjorquez reports, this comes as crews break ground on a new 20 mile section of wall along the U.S. Mexico border near El Paso. Outside El Paso, Texas, stacks of steel posts are being prepped for what will eventually look like this an 18 to 30 foot wall spanning 20 miles of the U.S. southern border. It's going to be durable. It's going to be here for a long time. It's U.S. Border Patrol Sector Chief Aaron Hall says it will help block one of the country's busiest smuggling routes. Last year, El Paso Border Patrol agents caught more than 25,000 people crossing the border illegally and seized more than 34,000 pounds of marijuana and 140 pounds of cocaine. It's going to deter all but the most determined illegal entrants from entering the United States here. The new wall will have a five foot plate at the top to prevent trespassers from climbing over, and the posts will be driven into concrete to keep intruders from digging underneath. We have to have strong borders. We need the wall. We've Congress hasn't the approved the estimated $73 million for President Trump's proposed border wall. But last year, the president signed an executive order to use existing money to jumpstart projects. More than 400 National Guard members have arrived since last week to patrol the border. Republican Mayor of El Paso, Dee Margo, worries stronger enforcement at the border will damage the relationship between the U.S. and Mexico. You cannot tell the difference between where El Paso ends and Mexico begins. We're really one community and have been for over 400 years. Critics are also concerned about the wall's environmental impact, but the Border Patrol says it works carefully to not disturb any of the surrounding natural habitat. The new section is scheduled to be complete next spring. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Santa Teresa, New Mexico.